urban agriculture by definition usually is agriculture, food growing capacities within the city. We like to use the word metropolitan food or metropolitan agriculture in that we see the future not as growing food within the city, but within the city, around the city, and between cities. Food is really a growing problem in many cities. It's a double-edged sword in the U.S. because food in the United States is not an issue. There's plenty of food. Uh, it, we, we export food. Uh, people don't regard food as an issue. But if I'm in downtown Detroit and I can't find a grocery store within the city limits of Detroit, then it's a problem. And for 72% of the people in the city of Detroit, they live in a food desert, which means basically that they do not have access on a daily basis to fresh fruits and vegetables. Detroit, we're talking about something that we're calling Metro Food Plus. We cannot talk about food in the future unless we also talk about energy, we also talk about water. So Metro Food Plus is about food, energy, and water in the city of Detroit. Our goal there is to look at how we use larger scale agriculture and food production in the city and to take advantage of the blighted areas so we can have land-based agriculture and food production. And we want to look at maybe repurposing some of the buildings. In a city like Detroit that has, a, a, well, a lot of abandoned buildings. So our concept is, why tear them down? How about thinking about the innovation and the technology that is needed to grow food indoors and create new business opportunity for people of Detroit and others who want to invest in that? How do we repurpose is, is the key in Detroit, and how do we do that in such a way that we attract technologies from around the world, increase food productions, create job opportunities, and even take advantage of this wonderful capacity we have. When we think about what this would look like, we think of a small physical footprint in the city. So the small footprint that we have, we think will be a gathering place, a meeting place, it'll be a demonstration place. It may be as large as uh, eight acres of land, but no more than that probably so that we can not only resurrect a building, but we can have some outside demonstrations with hoop houses and other extending season technologies. Because uh, we want the community to be on that site and looking in that site. And we want businesses from around Detroit, around Michigan, around the nation, to be able to come there and see new systems that are designed for indoor growing. We now have an authorizing environment to bring people together. So our first venture in doing that is uh, going to be uh, shortly at the MSU facility at Tollgate uh, near Novi. And it's a collection of community interests, of nonprofit interests, of business interests. Uh, there'll be representatives there from city government, from state government, uh, from, from our university, from other universities. And we're asking that group to think about what is going to be the socially acceptable food system of the future in Detroit. So what will be socially acceptable and provide ample quantities of healthy, high quality food? And if we can get there and get that description, then we have an agenda framework. So we think that this uh, uh, first meeting uh, of this uh, coalition building effort to help define what this means to our constituent groups as well as to Michigan State will go a long way in having an inclusive agenda that we can all live with, support, and achieve. This is the opportunity for Detroit to be a leader in the United States and around the world, much like it has been with the auto industry for so many years and will continue to be in the future. It has that same potential for global food systems, urban food systems, metropolitan work in the future as well.